children today we will learn about shelter so high class 5 evs looking around here the objectives are we will able to learn about different types of shelters able to learn about living condition of the tribes of le lata and learn about the capital of different states so before starting the chapter let us learn about different types of shelter as you can see from the picture the first picture is the picture of chawl these types of chawl are generally found in cities a chawl consists of rows of one room housed the cost of constructing houses in a chawl is not very high chawls are built in densely populated areas where not much space is available and this is the picture of kholis kholis means one room in a chawl are referred to as kholis rooms now next mansion as you can see from the picture these types of houses are called mansion a very large house cottage cottage means a small and usually old house especially in the country country means you can find these types of house in village next we will see bungalow a bungalow is a small house or cottage that is either single storied or has a second story built into a sloping roof usually with dormer windows and may be surrounded by wide verandas so these types of houses are called bungalow a tent house is a temporary shelter usually made up of fabric sheets and some other materials fixing into a supporting pole or a rope caravan a large vehicle that is pulled by a car you can sleep cook etc in caravan when you are traveling or on holidays so let us see what are the difference between a temporary houses and a permanent house temporary house means such houses are built with bamboo clay tarpaulin or straw and permanent house you know that are made up of with bricks and cement steel and concrete temporary house it does not cost much money but the cost of constructing permanent houses are high these are not very strong and may be called kacha house and these are very strong and called pakka house as you can see from the picture tent is one of the example of temporary house and caravan just we have discussed is also one of the example of temporary house and these types of houses which are made with the concrete are called permanent house so let's start the chapter here as you can see from the picture this the name of this person is gorav jani gorav jani a film maker resident of mumbai got bored with the city life so he with his loner motorbike started his journey towards le and ladakh so this is the picture of the india's map through which the gorav jani started his journey as you know that mumbai is situated here in maharashtra from so from maharashtra he started his journey then maharashtra gujarat rajasthan then haryana himachal pradesh at the last he reached jammu and kashmir where he has where his destination is le and ladakh so first he started his journey from mumbai and he reached delhi 1400 km from mumbai and you you can see from the picture that he has so many things packed uh, with him uh, which he took with him for the journey he packed small tent sleeping bag plastic sheet then warm clothes and food that would remain fresh for some days and camera for extra camera and extra cans of petrol also so next then he reached delhi there also he packed some more things needed for the journey and after two days where he reached he reached manali so first gorav jani passed through several states while going from mumbai to delhi find the capital cities of these states was there any other big town or on his way gorav jani passed through several states their capitals are as follows maharashtra's capital is mumbai gujarat gandhinagar rajasthan jaipur haryana chandigarh and some of the big cities on his way could be ahmedabad jaipur and chandigarh etc so after two days he reached manali now from the picture you can see where the manali is manali is here what kind of place is manali in which state is it manali is a hilly area and is in himachal pradesh 
So as you can see, this is Manali and there are so many hill station. Masuri is there, Nanital, Shimla and here in the red color, the names are all hill station. Khandala, this Khandala is in Maharashtra. Okay, next. So after uh, Manali, he reached cold desert. Cold desert is a high dry and flat area. It gets very little rainfall. There will be a high snow capped mountains. And the example of cold desert is Leh and Ladakh. Now he reached at the home with Tashi. So during winter Tashi and his family live on the ground floor. Why would they be doing so? What is the roof of your house like? What all is the roof used for? So Tashi's and his family, ground floor does not have any window which prevents the cold air from entering the rooms. This keeps the ground floor warmer than the first floor. Due to this, Tashi and his family live on the ground floor in the winter. So this is the picture of the Tashi's house where Gaurav Jani used to stay for few days. Now the roof of my house is flat. It is made up of cement, brick and concrete. It is utilized for various purposes like drying clothes, chilies, pickles, grain, etc. Enjoying warmth of sunlight in winters and cool winds in summer. But in our state Assam, we are having sloping type roof. Next, here is Changthang. As you can see from the picture, this is the place Changthang. Changtang, this place is at the height of almost 5000 meter. It is so high that it is difficult to breathe normally as oxygen level is less at high altitude. Children, as you go up, the level of the oxygen will keep on decreasing. In the language of Changpas, Changtang means a place where very few people live. Now, do you know, children, Bongaigao? Bongaigao is situated at an average altitude of 62.6 meter only. So, you can see the difference. 5,000 meter at the Changtang is at the height of 5,000 meter and Bongaigao is 62.6 .6 meter only. Now, Gaurav Jani learned about Changpas. Who are Changpas? Changpas, it is a tribe living on the mountains. They are always on the move with their goats and sheep. As you can see from the picture, they get all that they need from them, milk, meat, skin, for tents and wool, for coats and sweaters, they gaze their goats at higher and colder places so that the goat have more and softer hair. The sheep and goats are the life and livelihood of Changpas. Now Changpas tribe live in a big cone shaped tent to which they call Rebo. A rebu is a strong and warm and protects them from the icy strong winds. It can even be packed and carried to another place. Lekha. It is a place where the Changpas keep their sheep and goats. The walls of Lekha are made up of stone. As you can see from the picture, these are the picture of Rebo and Lekha. Where Changpas, these Lekha and Rebo are related with the Changpas tribe. What do you know about Pashmina shawl? Now, Pashmina shawl is as warm as six sweaters. It is very thin yet very warm. The goats and sheep which soft the Pashm which the soft Pashmina wools are collected are found on very high altitude of 5000 meter. The goats shed some of their hairs in summer. These hair is so fine. The fine hair cannot be woven on machines. So weavers of Kashmir's make these shawls by hand it takes 250 hours to make one pashmina shawl so special types of goats are there to make the pashmina shawl and this is the picture of pashmina goat now from there Gaurav Jani started his journey towards the Srinagar Gaurav Jani was going towards the Srinagar via Kargil different route from Leh now houses of Srinagar and he took the photo because he has taken camera with him from there he took some photos now tourists who come to Srinagar love to stay in houseboats the houseboats can be as long as uh, 80 feet and around 8 to 6 9 feet wide many families in Srinagar live in a donga so this is the picture of donga these boats are seen in Dal Lake and Chelam River from inside the donga is just like a house with different rooms 
Now beautiful carvings on walls can be seen on the ceiling of houseboats and some big houses. This design is called Khatamband, which was a pattern that looked like a jigsaw puzzle. Now another picture he took. In a village of Kashmir, houses are made from stones cut and kept one on top of the other and coated with mud because these are the things which are locally available in Kashmir. Wood is also used and the houses are having sloping roof. Why the houses are having sloping roof? So that the snow, uh, when there is a heavy snowfall, all the snow will uh, slips down the sloping roof and there will be no leakage. Now another is that some old houses have a special type of window which comes out of the wall. This is called dab. This is a picture of dab. It has a beautiful wood pattern. It is a wonderful to sit here and enjoy the view. Now the last picture is the old house. Here are made of stone, bricks and wood. The doors and windows have beautiful arches called mehrab. Next. Next at the last look at this picture. Can you see any houses in the picture? This is the picture, aerial view of some of the houses. These houses are made of stone and mud. Nobody lives here in winter. In summer, the Bakarwal people live here when they bring their goats to higher lands of for grazing. So these are the another tribe which lives in Jammu and Kashmir. That's Leh and Ladakh and they are Bakarwal. One it was Panchnal Shangpas, another Bakarwal. Next, now we will write the similarities and differences in the life of Bakarwal people and the life of Changpas. Now what are the similarities? Number one, both of them live in the mountains of Jammu Kashmir. Both of them keep on wander, wandering from one place to another. They are dependent on animals like goat, yak, sheep, etc. Number four, they earn their livelihood by selling the wool obtained from these animals. And now what are the differences? Number one, Bakarwals gaze any type of goat and sheep at any place. But Changpas gaze special type of goat at high altitude. The goats of Changpas develop more and softer here at high altitude. Number two difference is that Bakarwals stay at lower altitude also, while Changpas stay at high altitude only. So, according to what factors are the houses in different places made? There are many factors why people make different types of houses. Number one, it should be climatic condition. Number two, construction materials available locally in that location. And number three, economic condition of the people. If the peoples are pure, they will not able to buy the concrete, cement and brick. So they will make, uh, according to their economic condition, they will make their shelter. Next, so what are the important uh, things we uh, have learned from this chapter? Number one, the journey of Gaurav Jani started his journey from Mumbai. The distance from Mumbai to Delhi is 1400 kilometer. Leh is in the state of Jammu Kashmir. Number four, a high dry flat and cold area as cold uh, are called as cold desert. Number five, Changpas has special goats from which world famous Pashmina wool is made. Number six, Rebo is a big tent where the tribe Changpas live. Changthang is, the is at the height of 5000 meters. Number eight, goats and sheep are the treasures of Changpas. Number nine, Donga is a houseboat in Kashmir. Number ten, Lekha is the place where Changpas keep their animals. Next. Give one word for the following. So, number one, the tribe which lives in the mountain of Changtang are called Changpas. Number two, a special type of goat found in Srinagar is called Donga. Number three, beautiful carving on the ceiling of a houseboat, which is like a pattern of jigsaw puzzle, is Khatamband. Number four, it can be as long as 80 feet, and tourists love to stay in it when they come to Srinagar houseboat. Number five, Big conical tent where the Changpas live, Rebo. Number six, place near the Rebo where the animals are kept, Lekha. Number seven, a window which comes out of the wall with beautiful wood pattern dab. Number eight, the beautiful arches of the doors and windows of the old houses in Kashmir are called Mehrab. Number nine, the places where the lake and Chelam river is there, Srinagar. Number ten, the world famous woolen shawl is called Pashmina. So you have learned a lot from this chapter. Thank you.